How you guys doing? All right. Well, uh, first off, uh, I'd like to start off uh, today by uh, wishing uh, my best friend, who's my brother, uh, you know, a happy birthday. Um, he's always been a guy that I've always looked, looked up to my entire life, and um, you know, special day for uh, him. But uh, uh, as in, uh, in regards to our uh, game this past week, uh, you know, I was really happy for our guys. I thought they really played well, played hard. Uh, I was able to flip the field uh, and do some uh, good things out there. A lot of things that we need to improve on, though, uh, that we uh, got to do as we move forward. But uh, you know, and then excited for this week. Hopefully, we can go ahead and build on that momentum and and take over and uh, you know help our team win some football games some more as we go ahead and continue to move uh, down the road. Was it like uh, getting D.D. Westbrook uh, to break that one, which you've been kind of waiting for all season? Yeah, we, I mean, it was nice to see. I mean, there, there's a lot of great things that happened on that play. Uh, a lot of things that came, uh, you know, that, that allowed us to go ahead and be successful. One, I mean, filled the, the punt. He set the punt, which was great. And then just seeing the other guys really... Uh, block, you know, at the line of scrimmage. You know, we talk, we talk about uh, toughness at the uh, toughness equals time, and time equals yards. And so they got him at the line of scrimmage, and then we had a bunch of great blocks, save it technique blocks, all the way down uh, the field. What we call with a good finishing and and play penalty free, allowed him to get to the edge. And then, um, you know, I thought he was going to break it, but uh, you know, hopefully uh, we will in the near future. It seems like all phases of special teams have been improved from where you guys were at last year. Is there one particular area where you're, I guess, most happy with the jump that's been made from last season? You know, it's just more of a time. I mean, it's, you know, we got new guys on this team, on this roster right now. So it's it's different than what it was last year. Uh, you know, I'm just really proud of the guys, how hard they're working, how much they bought in. And, and you know, they're making a difference and they're excited about playing. and. And they've really just bought in, and we're we're playing as a team and as a unit, which is great to see. Um, you know, and I love the energy that they bring. I mean, they're flying around and they're having a lot of fun doing it, and it's good to see that. And uh, you know, making a positive impact. But we got to make sure, and we've been talking about this even since the bye week. I mean, we got to make sure, and, and from the training camp, we got to be consistent in everything we do. Uh, everything that we've done so far, good and bad, is behind us. Uh, we got to look forward, and uh, you know, we got to make sure it's one play at a time, and we uh, we approach it that way. So that first uh, kickoff or kickoff return on Sunday. I mean, that's the next biggest play. What do you think's been the catalyst behind being more aggressive on special teams? I know the fake punt got called, called back, but like, we saw a fake punt against Baltimore, the, you know, Kenny return. Has there been maybe like, some, like I guess, a page turn there in the recent weeks? You no, know, I think it's just a belief that, you know, that we're going to execute and uh, we're going to do some good things and trying to make a positive impact and be aggressive uh, in the approach. And no, there's no need to go ahead and hold back on on these situations, as long as we have the answers for every situation and we put them in the best position to be successful, uh, then they just got to go out and execute. And we got a great players on this roster, like we mentioned before, in terms of, you know, uh, Rick and all the personnel and head coach, you know, putting together this roster. We got to make sure we go ahead and execute and uh, use their talents to the best of abilities. And I think that's what you're kind of seeing right now. You've had fake punts called back to back weeks after like going four years or so without yeah. one. I mean, it's just got to be something that guys on that unit have got like. I'm imagining pretty excited that, hey, we're putting this work in and we, we might see it again. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, and and that's, you know, I mean, I mentioned, I mean, I'm an aggressive mindset and by nature in terms of offensive mind, uh, but, uh, you know, it's also coach. I mean, coach, you know, he wants to be aggressive and attack these guys and be a weapon for our team, and and that's what you're kind of seeing right now. And uh, you know, and like like you mentioned, I mean, these these players want to do that and want to have a positive impact and you know be put in those situations to be successful to help our team be uh, have those wins and and win those downs and win those plays. So um, yeah, so hopefully we can continue having a positive impact. But we just got to make sure we're staying consistent in everything that's happened in the past. It's it's happened and good and bad. We got to continue moving forward and looking forward to our next opponent. Was there anything to correct on the fake punt that got whistled dead? I mean, did did they did you snap it earlier than you would have instructed them to? Or uh, no, I think uh, it was more of a timing. You know, just making sure those officials. It's more mechanics in terms of officials getting ready and then us maybe delaying it for a split seconds. But it was designed to go ahead and uh, hit it. You know quick play because we're trying to get them off guard a little bit. The element of surprise where we always talk about in terms of the fake, uh, there is a value to that. Um, so uh, just the timing of it, we got to continue work, but we, we stretched we stress that and we really uh, plan for that, you know, throughout the week. And it just kind of happened, um, you know, like that. Just It's just with the mechanics with us and the officials and it's something we've, uh, we've talked about and we got it cleared up. Is that one of the more frustrating feelings as a special teams coach if you had a well-designed fake? Uh, called up and then it didn't get dead ball. <laughs> I mean, it maybe happened for a reason. You know, I mean, I'm a firm believer that you know there's there's a plan uh, to the Lord's working on that, and maybe it happened for a reason. I, I don't know. I mean, you never know, and we just got to be ready when that opportunity happens again, and and uh, we got to be ready to go ahead and execute. 
is your brother a fan of the team, a coach? Is he involved in football? Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, he's a he's a big supporter, obviously, uh, of us. Uh, you know, um, but it's just, I mean, we got a really unique bond, and uh, it's very special, which I'm very, uh, you know, very fortunate and uh, blessed to be able to have. But uh, yeah, he uh, it's funny because he actually. He coaches his son's team, uh, who's I think in seventh grade in in Denver, and um, and um, you, people argue, oh yeah, he's he's the coach of the family. I think uh, George Payton, his son's on that team too, so it's so it's pretty funny. But uh, no, I mean we just have a, a very uh, special relationship. How do you obviously been around uh, with the organization for a long time? What does uh, Packard Week mean to you? Uh, it means it means a lot. I mean, it's obviously a big time robbery. Uh, I know how much it means to the organization, you know, to the Will family, and and to the fans. More importantly, I mean, it's a, a big, uh, you know, state border uh, robbery, and it goes deep. And um, you know, we approach it obviously. It's it's the next game. It's a very important game. It's a divisional game, and uh, it's an opportunity for us to go ahead and get to one and zero, and and um, you know, get to five hundred right now. And so it obviously has a lot of value. But then it's just a little added with the with the Packer week, and and there's always these games always come down. It doesn't matter if it's Detroit, Chicago, whoever it is. But these divisional games are very important, and uh, they're a tough fought game, no matter who's on the field. But uh, got, oh, go ahead. A guy who's been around the, this team a long time. What's it been like to kind of turn that uh, rivalry around? I think the Packers had like a 10-1-1 stretch against you, but in the last 11 games, it's 6-4-1. You guys, what's it been like to kind of reverse things? You know, we just got to go ahead and ride the wave, get that momentum, uh, stay with it. Um, you know, I didn't know those stats, but uh, I mean, uh, good at enlighten on that. But the, the most important stat is uh, going to what's happening on this Sunday. You know, we got to get to that, that one game, that one win right now. And and uh, we'll see what happens, uh, you know, from there. But let everything else take care of itself. But we got to make sure we focus and uh, we can't look uh, too far behind, beyond that. And um, we got to get that win this weekend. How are, you, how are you dealing with the um, the taunting penalties? Because when someone makes a big play on special teams, it's often you know pretty exciting for that player. Uh, but you don't want to get a huge penalty. So how, how are you guys kind of teaching that? I mean, it's it's discipline, and that starts. That's one of our, our pillars that we talked about. You know, starting this whole thing off in terms of building a foundation for special teams. Uh, we talked about being smart, disciplined players, and and talk about discipline. It's not going ahead and. Um, you know, fighting or pushing after the play. I mean, when that whistle blows, we go ahead and make sure on the field in between the, the sidelines when the whistle hasn't blown yet, that's when we do let our, uh, you know, our, our, I guess our physicalness and our play do the talking for us. Uh, so I take my hats off to our players because their discipline coach talks about it a lot. We emphasize it a lot in the meetings. Um, so just got to make sure they let the play stand for it and uh, let everything else go, let the officials handle. But, um, you know, that's another thing. I've been very proud of the players on teams in terms of the last couple of weeks. I mean, we've been disciplined in terms of penalties. Uh, and that's helped our team, you know, flipping the field, even if we maybe don't get a big return or if it's just getting aligned correctly. We saw, you know, some opponents where they're misaligned and it's five yards before the play even starts. So, you know, I, I'm really proud of those guys, but we got to continue to build on that and, uh, you know, make strides in the right direction.